We all know how important it is to prepare food well. It is standard practice to wash fruits and vegetables to remove pesticides, and it is necessary to prepare fresh meat fully. But what happens in situations where the ability to cook food makes the difference between living and dying? Fugu, the puffer fish, is probably familiar to most of us. If it isn't cooked the right way, it can be very poisonous. Hundreds of people die from eating fugu that isn't cooked well. Scarily, more than a few foods like fugu can kill if they are not cooked the right way. So here are 10 foods that can kill you if you don't cook them right. Number 10. Taro. This plant's thick stems, leaves, and stalks are typically consumed as vegetables. The plant was most likely discovered for the first time in Southeast Asia. Taro is a type of root crop with a light purple stem that may be prepared in various ways. It is versatile enough to be utilized in savory and sweet dishes. However, it would help if you kept a safe distance from this plant in its unprocessed state. Why? It contains a harmful substance known as calcium oxalate, which in the most challenging situations can lead to the formation of kidney stones and even death. Therefore, if you are concerned about your health, you should roast, boil, or bake it. If you want to be even more cautious, when you desire taro, you can put a little baking soda to it or drink a glass of milk instead. Number 9. Raw Meat and Uncooked Eggs Salmonella bacteria can be found in raw eggs and meat, including red meat, seafood, and poultry. Salmonella poisoning can cause severe problems like bacteremia, killing people with weaker immune systems. So you should never leave your heart raw. Salmonella bacteria can cause gastroenteritis in people. When salmonella gets into the bloodstream, it can kill people with weaker immune systems. So put a flame under your meat to make sure nothing terrible happens. Number 8. Honey. It's not often known, but honey can be poisonous since it contains harmful toxins. Honey is put through pasteurization after it is manufactured to remove these chemicals. However, raw honey is highly hazardous to one's health. A teaspoon of honey that has not been appropriately pasteurized might give a person headaches, dizziness, weakness, and vomiting that can last up to 24 hours. These symptoms may go away once the honey is adequately pasteurized. A deadly overdose could be caused by more than one teaspoon of the substance. Number 7. Ghost Pepper Do you dislike adding Tabasco sauce to food because it makes it too spicy for you? The ghost pepper's strength can be calculated by multiplying that flavor by precisely 401.5. One of the most intense meals in the world, this hybrid pepper is also known as butt halokia and ghost chili. It is not recommended that you consume too much of it. A few at a time is fine, albeit a bit rough on the mouth, but overeating at once can cause severe stomach problems, seizures, and heart attacks, all of which could lead to a horrible death. Number 6. Aki. This fruit comes from Jamaica and is very popular there. The aki is Jamaica's national fruit, but if it's not cooked correctly, this tasty fruit can become one of the world's most dangerous foods. To begin, when it comes to eating an aki, only the yellow parts of the fruit should be consumed, and even then, only after they have been appropriately prepared during the cooking process. When it comes to producing aki, timing is a crucial component. Even a tiny bite of fruit that is too ripe or not ripe enough can cause Jamaican vomiting sickness, which can lead to seizures and death from low blood sugar. This fruit that looks like a pear needs to be fully ripe before it can kill you. Raw food can't be brought into the US, but you can buy it canned. Number 5. Mushroom. There are numerous varieties of mushrooms. Some are delicious and have been consumed for ages, while others are deadly and will cause excruciating pain if consumed. Some mushrooms aren't fun at all. With titles such as Death Cap and Destroying Angel, it's evident that these mushrooms are serious business. As a general rule, don't eat something if you aren't sure about it, especially if you picked it yourself. Even specialists have difficulty distinguishing between edible and poisonous mushrooms. Depending on the type of fungus ingested, it might take a few minutes to a few hours for the effects of consuming toxic mushrooms to manifest. You usually die from kidney, liver, or respiratory failure when they do. Just be careful if you pick them in the wild because some of them look like the ones you can eat. Even though most people who eat poisonous mushrooms have stomach problems, it is possible to die. Number 4. Elderberries Elderberries are used in many jams, wines, and teas, even though they sound strange. This is a shame because their seeds and leaves have enough cyanide-making glycoside to kill. Elderberry leaves are often used in sodas and medicines, but if you aren't careful, they can make you sick. They can cause cyanide to build up just like too many cherry seeds can. If the fruit isn't strained right or isn't ripe enough when you use it to make jam or wine, you could get very sick, go into a coma, or even die. Elderberry juice, wine, or tea that isn't made right can make you sick, but you must drink up to five cups to be in grave danger of dying. Number three, pufferfish slash blowfish. The blowfish is one of the most well-known examples of food that can kill you. Its toxicity and harmful effects are known all over the world. 
The organs of the blowfish are very dangerous because they contain a neurotoxin called tetrodotoxin, which is very dangerous. These animals are often called pufferfish, and in some parts of the world, they are considered a treat. Still, the chefs have to be very careful when preparing the food. The pufferfish is one of the world's most venomous animals, so if you eat these parts and are poisoned, you could quickly become paralyzed while you are still awake and then die. Because of this, it is against the law for the Emperor of Japan to eat it. We're glad that the fish can only be cooked and served as a special dish in restaurants by chefs who have spent years learning how to do it. Number 2. Cashews When you visit a supermarket and see cashews labeled as raw, you should know they are lying. If it helps, store-bought cashews are steamed to remove your rushal, a toxin also present in poison ivy. Eating raw cashews could die, especially if you have an allergy to poison ivy. So, if you ever find cashews in nature for some strange reason, don't eat them because they aren't trail mix. Depending on your sensitivity to poison ivy, just a few raw cashews could be very dangerous for the average person. The acid in cashew shells can cause skin irritation and tummy distress. Before you eat cashews, you have to boil or roast them. In their raw state, they have a chemical called erushal, which can cause rashes or even death if enough of it is eaten. Number 1. Potatoes You may have heard that potatoes can be dangerous if eaten incorrectly. You did hear right. Glycoalkaloids are found in a potato's leaves, stems, and sprouts. Even though it doesn't happen very often, the stems and leaves of potatoes are poisonous. Most deaths caused by potatoes occur when people drink potato leaf tea or eat green potatoes. Make sure to bake, boil, fry, or cook your potatoes right before you eat them. They are also found in nightshades. It can sprout if you leave a potato in poor conditions, such as too much moisture, light, or too long. Even if you cut off the sprouts, throwing them away is best because the poison may still be in the potato if too much time has passed. Scientists say that a 100-pound person would have to eat about one baked potato's worth of sprouted potatoes to get sick. This is 16 ounces. So that's all for today's video. If you like this video, click the like and the bell buttons. We'll have another video for you soon. Take care until then.